Fly your fair nation. Fly your fair nation. Thank you for tuning in to the Pointless Talks podcast. This episode is produced by Fly Fair Nation and recorded at the Fan Production House. Twin. Wagwan. Hi. Um, Another week. Yeah. Yes. Another week. I'm just a uh, running. Run fast. Running, running. The, the February now. Yes. First month of the year. Yes. Yes. Over. First yeah, month of the year. Yep. Happy New Year. Okay, <laughs> happy New Year. Happy, happy, happy New Year. All them things. Before we get into the show, I want to first thank everyone who subscribed, submitted to the spamming. Big up on yourself. And got us to our first hundred subscribers. Real, real. Ooh. Go Big us, up on yeah, yeah. <laughs> and if you're listening to this and you have not subscribed, go to YouTube. We are youtube.com slash pointless talks. Three S's. You ain't got to worry about all them extra letters and numbers and all that foolishness. The URL is live. And if you say you can't remember, it's in both bios. So yes. Don't want to hear it. Just go do it. Yeah. Just if you follow any one of us, just click it. Subscribe. Easy. It's free. Easy. Don't. You know. It's what? <laughs> it's free. <laughs> Gratis. <laughs> all of that. <laughs> yeah. You're not for PFR. Just go click the button and go on your business. All That's right. It. Okay. So. It's February, mm-hmm. top of the month, Super Bowl. First thing that happened this year, this month, this year. Yo, I'm really running with this. <laughs> uh, you know, I don't really watch football anymore, American football. Mm-hmm. So, kind of make a difference to me, just under that Sunday. We had brunch. Yes, we did. We, we had, had brunch. brunch. It was nice. Brunch yeah. was nice. The foods by yours yes, truly. Yes, I felt like cooking and things, so, oh, yeah. you know. Yeah. Yeah, mango. What's it? Mangosa? A mangosa. <laughs> yes, full of mangosa. <laughs> you're the only one that had mangosa, so nobody else don't know oh, what the hell you're one? talking about. Yeah. Well, guys, obviously mimosa for brunch, but mango, so nectar, mango, and I love mangoes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's lit. Yeah. But, yeah. So when is the next one? Sunday again? Yeah, no, I had that one. No, like, probably the next one. <laughs> I, I wouldn't do it to you. <laughs> I wouldn't do First it to you. First of all, that was my last Sunday off till Jesus wept again. Men I know of. So. I don't know when it's happening you let again. Us, you let yes, us know. I will, you know, it's a you great way know. to. I don't know if we're supposed to do the seafood <laughs> night thing. Listen, it so was offered. offered. So, okay, so we got to do the seafood night. You did the brunch. All right, so. Seafood. Listen, I am here for we gotta get some all games. seafood things. You know, we got games galore. We just got to play them. What Ooh. you got? But I want to get... What's the one with the bands? <gasps> Headbands or whatever Yeah, I want to get that. Like, Yes, no? yes, I wanna yes. Get that. Because um, Cards Against Humanity are cool. That's cool. Is that what it is? Cards Against Humanity? It's I'm not familiar. It's, like, it's weird, but I think I played it once. It was pretty what cool. What is it? What is the... Premise of the game. Me explain it to you. It's oh like boy. The, yeah, it is just weird situations and like scenarios, and you gotta yeah. It's oh. we'll look into it. But no. okay, um, weren't we supposed to get? Excuse me, some game one time we had. Oh, we we're by your brother, mm. and they, was it them, or we saw it somewhere else? It was like a. It was a sex game, but not really. It was mm-hmm. like questions, like things kind of like, what would you or mm-hmm. like yes or no type of thing. I can't remember the name of the damn game. Mm-hmm. But I remember it was like a board game and it's kind of like, mm-hmm. would you, like they yeah, have the answer you. on the back type of crap. But that was another one that I was like, hmm, interesting. You play Monopoly? Um, Monopoly's okay. The last time I played Monopoly was when I was by him actually. Oh, okay. Yeah, but I played the new one with the little debit card and stuff. Oh, yeah. Kind of. Mm. Kind of, it was all right, but mm. but yeah, we got to do that. Link up and do that. Uno, yes. <sighs> Let's not do it because <laughs> nobody listen. Because there's too many rules. Everybody, oh, we play like this. I play like this, and then by the time I don't want to play no more because everybody be coming with foolishness. All type of rules that you ain't never heard about. Listen, you start playing Uno with people that's been to jail, that there's different rules there, and then people who grew up other places, there's exactly. different rules you, there. You know we've been through it. That's not how we... Mm. All right, well, I don't want to play, because now you have to go. <laughs> yeah, now nah, I just... I'm, I'm over it at this point, so yeah. You know how to play spades? No. Okay. And I'm okay with it. Okay. You're Jamaican, those. so yeah, and Domino, like we have Domino. <laughs> Listen, that's it. okay, Ludi. that's what we need to bring. Ludi, so somebody have Ludi. You have Ludi for Um, we can go find one. That's Ludi and Domino. We good. There we go. Done. Game night. I'll bring the rum. Bet. <laughs> Wait, so it's February, so that means Valentine's Day coming up. Yes. Yes. What are your about? Do you participate? 
<sighs> How See, you feel about it? Listen, all right. So, you know, we're going we to take a walk back down memory lane, right? When I was younger, yeah, right? right? And, you know, I was... Young with a snapper. Yeah. Doing things and things and such. <clears throat> I used to be spoiling people's daughters mm. with gifts galore. Yeah, you These know, just, just buy out the whole... The whole Valentine's section. You want beers, you want chocolates, you want flowers, jewelry, mm -hmm. everything. You want rose petals, candles, mm -hmm. you know, all of, all of that. Mm -hmm. <sighs> no, I just want to be spoiled, so whatever. <laughs> I, I don't think of it as an actual holiday. It's just, it's nice to do something, extra. but it's not required or necessary. So mm -hmm. it's, it's cool. I just want me some chocolate-covered strawberries, and I'll be fine. I'll make it myself if I have to, but... I just want that. That's yeah, it. Then I'm oh, Jesus. Just, 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 just warm up some dumb. Yeah, some dumb. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> but, okay. Do you have plans? No, not, you know, they, they, you know, they in my head. You gotta, you know, require some thoughts. You I don't feel just you. Wanna do like the regular shit. Like, I was thinking, I get paid on Valentine's Day this year, I think. <laughs> I was like, oh, that's cute. Heard. So, yeah. Yeah, you know. maybe, you know, I have a Valentine, so, you know, I might be nice to her. Well, I was told that I have a Valentine because um, Smutty Data is coming in town and um, sent me a message. And I was like, heard. Okay. Cool. Mm. Yeah. Big ups to you. Um, you know, that's awesome. <laughs> yeah. Sometimes I like being told what to do. Sometimes, you know. Just... Where are we going? Where you I'm going just, with this? I'm just saying, you know, because Valentine's Day being told, like being told what to do. Sometimes, like, sometimes, going? sometimes. Uh, free plug. Uh, there's a lingerie party that weekend that I. Are you going? <laughs> you going? Well, this is a premise. It's lingerie for women, and men and women of masculine center are in tuxedos. So no, stop. What kind of tuxedo? Like a freaky tuxedo? <laughs> like like <laughs> like a freaky tuxedo? No. Like the booty cheeks out no. or, the, or the dick in pieces out, the nipples out? No. You just mean a full on tuxedo? No, it's like Kiss a my ass. suit. Kiss my ass. So well, it doesn't really have to be a tux, but like a suit. Listen to me. <laughs> Listen to me. It's a lingerie party. The women's is there. They they booty out everything out. They lingerie and negligee and. Masculine presenting and men got to wear a tuxedo on a suit? Look here. No. I wouldn't be there. I thought it was like a freaky deaky kind of tuxedo. Oh, you know, the stuff hanging out and stuff. So would you wear a freaky deaky tuxedo? You know, if, you know, if that's where my life was leading and, you know, <laughs> everything was whatever. And they were like, you could wear a freaky deaky tuxedo. I'm like, you know, maybe wild time. You show up there, you a little ready to go. Got, you know, a little hole, a little peep hole and stuff. I'm, No. Oh, little nipple or something? Not even you? like you'll be surprised. Look, <laughs> not me, but some other people might be. I know you fish as hell on the real, so <laughs> exactly. Yeah, but I mean, no, I don't like that. No, unless are the guys and the masculine person are they there to serve or something? No. Then we talk about something different. No. Well, this is my thing. My idea. I'm not completely against it. I just. I feel like it's so much easier for guys to find like lingerie, but they don't really have lingerie. Where they gonna wear like boxers or like get you like little silk pajamas? Just get the little. I don't know. That's an easy, you... cheap way out. It's but why? first of all a, a suit. Yeah, I don't think you have to wear like a whole three piece and tie, but at least like a I button up, like a dress, not. shirt and pants, like look nice and well put together. I'm not understanding why. A I'm lot of women like to see men in suits. Hello. And this one, I'm asking, are they there to serve y'all? Cause then we could get into some different type of kink, but if it's not on that scale and y'all sitting around, I'm a, no. And we wasting time. Cause suppose you at the lingerie party, you find yourself a little thing. It's too much. You gotta be taking off too much clothes just to get to it. And she, no, hell. Okay. No. Opinions. Ideas. But I mean, if they, the freaky cool tuxedo. <laughs> I'm still stuck on the freaky tuxedo. Yeah, I know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Speaking of tuxedos, I saw, did you see the picture of um, Billy Porter um, for Sesame Street? Oh, let me show you this picture because no, you don't look like I you saw not, it. But, but 
But his, you know he his loves wardrobe. Is you on. know he loves a good fucking gown. So yeah, he likes to play with. <laughs> this is my best man outfit for your wedding. This, um, we've already talked about my tuxedo dress that I'll be wearing, and this is yeah, basically this is the true. idea okay, of. So this is kind of how you want to look here. Yeah, but not, maybe not as elegant that's a gown. A lot of dress, yeah, that's it's a lot. It's it really is. I like um, to be able to see my feet sometimes. You, but okay, so okay. Oh, I knew, you already knew that's what you wanted to do. Though. Yes, but I saw it and I was like. <gasps> My vision, That's you. kinda, yeah. So, <laughs> did you see? Is there a comment showing on there? Oh, this is the one. Read that comment up at top there. Okay, so, let me see. I know a lot of y'all don't believe in the gay agenda, but what y'all think about this shit being on Sesame Street and being promoted to young children? So, what do we promote again? What are we promoting uh, that he has a dress on? It's a thing, I guess. So they never seen a man in a dress before. It's probably twenty. I can't say yes because that that would be a lie. So is it just because he's gay and he's proud and out and real? open and yeah, so, the gay so agenda that he supposedly to like all them other men that's been doing this for years. So. It's on Sesame Street. Wearing that's wigs, why. dresses, all types of shit. Get out of here with that! I feel like they always. What's wrong like, with it? And you know what? I just thought about something. Now that you show me that, who was it that has something to say, Mister Ray from Love and Hip Hop? Now that I think about it. Who? Um, you don't know Mr. Ray? Little chubby, chubby little brown kind of. I don't know. Maybe. They, if I see him, I'll probably. He's will. from um the LA one. Mr. Ray? Mr. Ray. Hmm. Yeah, and I believe he was talking about it. And he was just like, kids should stay kids. They shouldn't be exposed. And it's like, you? You are a feminine gay man. Like, what are you talking about? What do you mean kids should stay? He was just like, oh, he don't think that, that it should happen on Sesame Street. Like, you are saying you don't believe that he should be on I don't get it. But why? Be- I don't, oh, I don't know who he is. Mm-hmm. Um. Anyways, so, huh? What, is he having sex with another man on Sesame Street? This like, I don't I understand. No, of course, but everybody, they do too <laughs> much. They're thinking too much. As soon as you see somebody that's gay, why are you automatically thinking about sex? Like, yeah. why? That's always what it... Give me a break. Like They over-sexualize everything. So they think that that's the same thing with kids coming out or whatever. They're like, oh my God, that's disgusting. But the child isn't thinking about sex. They're not. They're not thinking about, you know, it's just, hey, whatever. But I'm looking at this like, there's a little boy out there who wants to put on a dress and feel like something is wrong with him. Billy Porter being on Sesame Street in his dress... Might make this child feel like, okay, maybe something's not wrong with me. Yeah. I'm not alone in this world. Exactly. And But they hate that. Yeah. You got to remember that. The ignorant want people to stay ignorant. Yes. Okay. And they don't want people to be able to choose for themselves and see what they want. They want everybody to just follow what they've been following just because. Why the fuck? But what if that's not what I want to do? No, you have to follow the norm. You have to fit into this idea that they gave that, you know, I like it. This is who you should be. This is how you should be. I like it. I know I, they should keep certain things. The same kind of things I think they should keep off kids' TV. The guns, the sex, too much. Of, too much. That's for all kids. Mm-hmm. But they don't say nothing about pushing a gun agenda. They don't say nothing about pushing nothing. These people hypersexual. These kids watching these movies and stuff. People cursing, shooting, having sex and stuff. And they kids. And I'm just like, and oh, but that's that okay. Fine. Yes. Yes, of course. We're not talking about nobody gay kissing normal. or nothing. Just being there in a dress. That's normal. Yeah, so that's... Not too much for me, really. Yeah, and we... Somebody sent me something earlier. Mm -hmm. I think I sent it to you. Did you get a chance to watch the video I sent you on Instagram? Let me... I'm going to play it real quick. I don't know if you're going to be able to... Oh, I don't know if... I don't know if you're going to be able to hear it, but... Oh, Jesus, where is it? A video is... So why everybody is... Parents have to accept you. What if you accept Alisa? I don't love blood clot, man. I love you. Be good, my love. Be cocky. You hear what I love? What? What? I hate that they keep using this man for. I don't Yeah. Yeah. Yes. So, that was a prank. That was a prank. Mm-hmm. However, imagine you talking to your daughter 
about how big hood you love and big cocky and, and that's okay. For some reason, they really think when they tell you that it's supposed to entice you into wanting to to go down this road and stuff. Listen, I have cousins that have been like, so you don't want a man, yeah. I'm like when man the top like the on top of me and then body and I'm just looking at them like, eh? And I'm like, I don't like it. You like it and that's great for you. And I'm just like, but that's not even what we're talking about. Different yeah. from that type of stuff, me no want it. Exactly. I'm not attracted. It's not what I want. People yeah, that's how people are though. Yeah. Especially when they don't understand it. Well, I don't feel like it's nothing to understand. Just let people live their lives. Whether you Easy. understand it or not, just, oh, look, they're doing it again. Sorry. But. <laughs> <laughs> I'm really out here trying to get some. I'm sorry, guys. My turtles is trying to get some ass. But. Um, like, you ready to mount that boy. Ooh. You get it, boo. Get it. I don't care. Go right ahead. You just sitting there like. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Lord. Anyways, but yeah, I just um, I pointed out that video just to add into the context of how people are OK with certain kind of exposure. Mm hmm where they think it's OK. So you can sit here and talk to your daughter, all type of vulgar, but her just basically saying, you know, I might be a lesbian is something for you to be riled up about, you know? And acceptance, acceptance, it's something that people don't really, like everybody wants to be accepted, but not everybody wants to accept everybody. So it's kind of mm -hmm. like, it's a thin line where people walk where it's like, you want the freedom to express yourself. Mm -hmm. But other people can't express themselves if it offends you. You know what I'm saying? It's like that hypocrisy where it's just like, yeah, this is a free country. Mm -hmm. But just keep that shit over there. Like, that's, that's really what it is. Like, oh, yeah, we can do whatever we want, but I don't want to see you yeah, do Because what her telling her daughter that was completely inappropriate. Yes. You could say one thing. You could be like, look. I'm going to really understand it. I'm going to like it. Mm -hmm. Okay, and I leave it there. Or I wish you would. Whatever, whatever. This is what I know as right. Whatever you want to, mm -hmm. the stuff that you have know how to say. You know how them yeah. still. Mm -hmm. But you didn't have to go talking about me like big this and me like big that. Yo, Tavada. Yeah, that was, that was Why gross. are you telling me? I don't First care. of all, I would not want to hear my mother talk about what kind of what she, no, no, listen, no. Listen. I've, I've already heard any little snippets that I need to hear and I don't want to hear nothing else. <laughs> yeah, like. Mm -mm. Don't tell me. I understand. I get it. I have my imagination. I don't want you to tell me nothing. Don't. Mm -mm. As easy as No, as exactly. But. I, I brought that up to bring up this. I posted the other day. Remember, um, the way you speak to your children becomes their inner voice. Yeah. Now, I'm always, you know, trying to channel inner peace and self-care and, you know, just making sure that we deal with the traumas and we try to overcome these backward way of thinking and upbringing and all these things that we have been exposed to throughout our childhood and mm. early life and, you know, whatever. And I don't think, I shouldn't say I don't think a lot of parents know. I feel like back then, like our parents, they didn't think about how the way they talked to us would affect us growing up. Because they probably don't think about the way their parents talked to them and how it's affected them and molded them. So I feel like our generation, we're more conscious of the way we speak to each other and also accepting that children are human also. <laughs> so we're more conscious of, you know what I'm saying, the way we say things. For, not all of us, also, some of us. Also, we know the kind of parents that we do have and then the grandparents and yes. so on and so forth. And... Being in Jamaica, not here, uh -huh. there's definitely a difference and a different standard. Yes. You know, their parents are the parents. Pitney, I pitney. Yes. That's how it was. You well, stay in I a mean, child's still place. Is, you stay in a child's place. It don't matter whatever. Mm -hmm. This is law. Mm -hmm. You know how it goes. So, and I think now it's different and more people are mo coming away from the island too and learning different things and learning different ways to deal with their problems and their issues and they don't want to carry on the same. Yes crap that they went through because a lot of us is messed up and got issues and we just don't want the same thing 
Exactly. To keep going. And that's, I mean, that's the way it's supposed to be. It's like and a thing. Exactly. We're supposed to grow from and learn from those things so that we don't repeat those same toxic cycles and whatever the case is. There are some things, though, from those backwards way of mind that I'm kind of like... I'm okay with it. Yeah. Right. Picnic for staying a picnic player still. Some things, yeah. Like, to yeah. an extent, though. Like, you... I don't feel like yeah. children should jump in when adults are talking. No. I don't agree Absolutely with not. that. Like, if me and another adult are having a conversation, sit I don't feel mind. like a child need to up. be buttoned in. That's one thing. That. But then, also, I feel like children should be able to ask you questions. questions. Right. Whereas when I was growing up, where you want to know that for? But that, yeah, exactly. But that's with you and your child or whatever mm-hmm. the child is. It doesn't have to be your kid. Yes. It could be just another kid that feels comfortable talking exactly. to you. Exactly. You know, you and made yourself open. Exactly. And, and that's they know they so important. To. Yes. That is so important. Like, and I've had children come to me and say things to me that I'm just like, what am I supposed to do with this information? Always the babies. Yes. Always yes. The babies now. Yes. Yeah. Frighten me. And I'm just like. But okay. it's good. It's a good feeling to know that they actually trust yes. you and want to talk to you. Yes. Because then, like, I, was, I think, I don't know if I mentioned it before, but somebody came out to me and I was like, <laughs> I don't know what I'm supposed to say to you right now because me and you ain't never had no conversation mm-hmm. for you to, you know, I mean, granted this big old rainbow flag in my house, but. I never, you know, and I'm just like, okay. And I, I'm horrible because I kind of blew past it because I was like, mm-hmm. I don't know if I need to be having this whole conversation <laughs> with you. I don't, <laughs> don't want to say nothing that your parent might not be comfortable mm-hmm. with me saying or whatever. So I kind of just like left it alone. But like also in situations like that, you have to feel out the mentality of the child. Mm-hmm. And when they come out to you or say anything to you that might be, you know, mm-hmm out of left field or whatever like just out the blue like it was literally random as hell too like it wasn't nothing related to nothing i was just (laughs) huh (laughs) oh okay i think back to like certain things i used to say or want to say i just knew like offer you know what don't even don't even yes just just no yeah not worth it it's not exactly because you know you're gonna get Mm -hmm. shut down immediately nope how about which is, yeah. No, no, it's not even worth it. Now, I mean, I hope, you know, in the future, having kids and all these things, I don't want my kids to feel like they can't talk to me. Mm-hmm. However, respect you. Yes. But yes. I still want to be, like, I don't mind. They have, like, you know, like an auntie or something. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? Because sometimes aunties, that happens in my family. Like that's the me. Aunties, <clears throat> you talk to the auntie and, and all these things. But, I, I mean, that's okay. Come on. We, we're going over yeah, here. You know What's I mean? up? I'm okay with that. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? As if it's someone I trust. Mm-hmm. I don't want them to be, like, I'm that's the bad how influence people end on. up with, like, <laughs> talking to other people, yes. people getting sucked up yes. in these situations and all types of shit. Or. And being open and verbal with other people because they can't do it with you. Then you. Surprise. Yeah, then you feel away. Why you don't yeah. talk to me? You ain't create no because safe I can't. space. <laughs> like a safe space is very important. Kids need safe spaces too. They may not be. They don't know how to say, "I need a safe space to talk to you." Exactly. So you have to create it. That's it. Mm-hmm. And then also with that, you don't want them to not even necessarily another adult, but go to their friends or someone else and That's get the wrong information. That, yeah, that. You know what I'm saying? Like, granted, you can go find an ex adult and they might take advantage of the you, view. or they might. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Many different things can happen if you. I don't say let your children go astray, but let your children go, go astray. astray. You know, like you have to, I'm not saying y'all got to be BFFs, mm-hmm. but you have to have an open line of communication where they feel like if they have questions about things, they can come and talk to you about it. If they don't understand something, if they are curious about something, don't just shut it down as soon as they, nah, take My a issue minute. Though, with some Caribbean parents mm-hmm. is that they, for years and years and years, we'll have you feel like, all right, you don't want to talk to them because you know how they're going to react or they have reacted wrong. They shun you, something, and they, you hear the way they are. You hear yes. their ignorance. You hear the way they react about certain situations. You don't want to talk to these people who are and not then, open-minded. Yes. I know you're not open-minded right off rip, so I'm not going to want to talk to you about me. You, I can hear you say you don't like man man relationship. You don't like women. You don't like Batman. You don't like lesbian. You don't like this. Why am I a kid who is questioning my feelings Mm -hmm. and what I may be feeling? I think I might be gay. You think I'm going to come tell you? (laughs) Nope. Why would I tell you that? So you can then shun me? That's, but then imagine the culture, though, the culture, though, because even the people who don't believe in it, sometimes Mm -hmm. will sit there and go back and forth to 
keep up appearances or whatever the case is and spread that same narrative, burn out this and blah, 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 right, tay, tay. Yeah. But don't necessarily feel that way. So then when they hear, oh, my child, da, 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 then, oh, you couldn't tell me. So-. No, what, what? When have you ever given me any kind of inclination that you might be open-minded? <laughs> exactly. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, that's... You think, listen, kids watch their parents very closely. Yes. Okay? Especially when you're unsure of, like, especially if you have a secret, yes. something you are hiding, what? watch very closely and watch your temperament and see if it's something that you can even have a conversation about or even handle. Yep. And then it's after years and years and years, after being shunned, after not being able to speak, after feeling judged, after all these things, they pop up. So why you didn't just tell me? So why you ain't just talk to Boa? Talk to you about what? And no. then and then what? So you can cuss me? And then feel fake offended. Well, yes. I didn't know because you didn't talk to me. And okay. You should know your child. Even if they don't talk to you, you should be able to pick up that something is off, something is bothering them, something is concerning but them. But they do. A lot of Caribbean, Caribbean parents yes. specifically do and act like, well, denial you, or you'll be all right. You're all right. Mm-hmm. You're good, man. Go Just, and go sleep. Yeah, pray and go sleep. Tea. Okay, pray <laughs> and go sleep. You're good, man. Nothing wrong with yeah. you. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, and then they wonder, people, yo, and I hear this so much, a lot of LGBT people who, like, leave Jamaica and just don't go back man because... Gone. Man, them run up, not coming back, G. <laughs> gone. I can't, so you can't blame some of them, though. You can't, because... Why? I don't blame not one. I'm like, look, go find your happiness wherever your happiness. Mm-hmm. I, I hate that, because I understand what it's like to home and love home Listen. and want to be there and... To live and love I, I think to be like if Jamaica was like tolerant and all these things and to be openly you know I'm just be open and gay and know that you won't be harmed and you just free to be like how you are here kind of in a sense you mm-hmm. know what I'm saying to be able to do that on your own land is a different feeling yes but to feel like a fucking stranger in your own home like I was you know I was born here this is my home and I can't even be who I am I'm a gun too yeah <laughs> but nah, go bye-bye. somewhere else that I can actually be myself I'll come visit once in a blue that, if that some, but some you know not go back out yeah not some going people back. that's it them just want to skip yeah I mean I don't want to say it's getting better, but there are places where I see people I, doing their own thing and but openly I, out. And I'm, I wonder to myself, and I'm just like, but which part of it? Like, me, where, where, are, you, where are you guys? First of all, because listen, this look very open listen, now, okay, and, and in, a, in a heels and necklace and so me, neck and but, yeah. So me, I'm like, which part of it? Me want to know. I want to know, but then I don't want to know. But I do want to know. Wanna, just with spite, tell me. No, That's don't, don't. Because, you know, a lot of them seem to be living good, carefree. Very flourish. Like, boom, I don't get it, because where? Me Is frightened. it sometimes? Is it after certain times? Listen. It, it depends on location, too. Uh, Definitely. Moan said that, too. And it depends on if you by yourself or you have groups. And mm-hmm. if you. Moan, no, for the change, when you go, well, I go. Moan, no. Because that's. I don't see y'all. I don't see you get in a taxi, <laughs> in a lipstick and your eyeshadow and your heels with your beard. Listen I don't, s- you know. I know what two times I change. What people always see. All right, it was always like the homeless guys. Mm-hmm. You remember how they uh-huh. said the YouTube thing? Yeah, They're like yeah, so the, the one gully then. ones. Now times different. No, mm-hmm. like you see more of the. The social media crowd, yep. younger set, everybody's yep. kind of stepping out and look good, them clean them up, them job, them in a Yes. Group. So it's different now. At one point, it wasn't like that. Booked out. That's what I'm saying. Mm-hmm. And looking good and clean. And you like, damn, like, mm-hmm. now they-, they I edu- love to see it. They educating other people. They spreading the word and all that. It's different now. I like how it's evolved. Love it. Mm-hmm. Love it. Love it. Still nervous. I love it, but I'm still nervous. I <laughs> don't know why I keep. I don't know which parties I keep, but- I just don't want nothing bad for come with it. That's that's really all I'm worried about. I just, I love to see it. Like, it really warms my heart. Like, yo, the mm-hmm. location, I say, yo, you're there, yeah, the true blood yeah, clot. Yeah, honestly. Take ton up. But at the same time, I'm like, mm-hmm. hey, which part are they? Which part It's you always there? me. Which part them there? Mm-hmm. Like, where y'all at right now? <laughs> yeah. Shit. But, you know, here for it. I'm, I, I love to see a more progressive Jamaica, anywhere honestly, but Jamaica because that's where I come from. But anywhere where there's growth, because it don't make no sense otherwise. It really don't. It don't make no sense 
for people to have to be in a closet. <laughs> Yeah. It really don't. I can understand it because safety and acceptance and whatever, whatever. But especially as an adult, imagine you, big, hot, staring man. <laughs> you work and you pay your bill and you're not for answer to nobody. And you can't put on your little frock on your whatever and go buy your business. Imagine. Because. And, and it's not even like you yeah, trouble somebody. You're exactly. just a walk on road. Walk, go shop, go buy something. Or, no. You know? No. So. Then they not that, Rasta. Then yeah. that video. People just need to learn to mind their damn business. And that, that's it. <laughs> that's it. Like, just mind your business, let people live their lives, and full stop. Right, that's all. Maybe next year. What, you going Pride? Pride where? Oh. Pride where? I want to go to New York Pride this year. Yeah? yeah. It's been a minute. <laughs> I have not been it's in been a been while. It's been more than enough minutes. It's been a couple minutes, about half an hour. Yeah, I'm trying <laughs> to go my dip up for like... Days. Mm. Maybe. You know how that go. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But you wasn't talking about that pride. You talking about uh J Flag. Yes. Um That's usually what my birthday week, right? That mm-hmm. week. Um Do you have birthday no, cards? No, I know. Um But that's if I go this year. <laughs> Listen. It's just a trip that have me have to plan properly. Cause <laughs> after that, it kind of, kind of eh, about to come in a really. It, we don't it's not know. Like, so we're, we're not, not live there. out there. Mm-hmm. We don't know the. You know, we don't. We don't know the temperature. Like we don't. The temperature is that the word? Yeah. Mm-hmm. We don't climate. really know what it's like to climb. Boom. We don't know the climate. <laughs> we don't know what it's like to be there every day and face this every day. So it kind of, kind. <laughs> and I kind of feel bad though, leaving here, being so free, and then go there and go enjoy this freedom and luxury that y'all set up for oh, this. Yeah. And then it's kind of like, all right, go back to my real life yeah. when this is celebration is done. I don't have to deal with the struggle of. Everyday life, because it does look good, and I mean they Listen, haven't, feel had, no, they they haven't had any issues, and it's been cool. But I me mean, know just like the one time me go, like yeah. that's it. It might that's just it. salt. Yeah, and I can't manage it. I'm gonna go yeah. and hold it out for another time. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe next year. Next year again. Next year. Yeah. Next year again, right? <laughs> what? Twenty twenty one. Twenty twenty one or so. Yeah, yeah. Around them time there. <laughs> So, <laughs> backtrack a little bit um, and talk about self care. Yeah. Oh, whenever you say backtrack, I feel what you mean. Okay, backtrack could mean. But just, but just realize that your cup I move fast. And if you put a little bit more rum in there, I drink mm-hmm. that one, they kind of fast. So. Nice, still. <laughs> self care? Yes, yeah, self care. Types of self care. Yeah, ask me. No, I'm reading off, and oh. I'm gonna just ask you like, which one do you think you're more you identify more with, or which one okay, do you practice more. and things oh, of the nature? Oh. So there's four based on the image I'm looking at: okay. physical, emotional, social, and spiritual. Right mm. now, for physical, sleep. <laughs> me that. <laughs> I know that's what's that's me. <laughs> uh-huh. <laughs> right. Okay. So it's sleep, stretching, walking, physical, physical release. Healthy that's, food, that's yoga. I mean, I know that, that's what I'm taking from it, and rest. So again, sleep, stretching, yes. walking, physical release, healthy food, yoga, rest. Those oh, are all physical. Some of them are not going <laughs> right. No, but definitely sleeping. I need to look at them. Y- yeah, you and the walking. Yeah, yes. you know me. I need to look at them more. Yeah, healthy food. Mm. I mean, if you go back, Panda, you know? yeah, I know you won. Billy, I step up in her life <laughs> and all these things. But we reached it, but. Then we have emotional. So, stress management, emotional maturity, forgiveness, mm. compassion, and kindness. That's oh, emotional. Okay. Then there's social boundaries, support system, positive social media, communication, time together, and asking for help. This this is planned. What is this? Go ahead. And then there's spiritual, the alone. What? Oh, the alone. Wow, I can't read. Time alone, Mm. meditation, Mm. yoga, connection, nature, journaling, sacred space. Yes, indeed. All right. So those are the four. Out of all of those four, which ones would yours be physical? Because you would identify with two out of uh, physical: the sleep and the walking. And also the other one. Which one had the spiritual? 
Oh yeah, one night spiritual. Spiritual head journal- journaling. Um, time alone, yeah. meditation, yoga, connection. Because I enjoy my time by myself. <laughs> as much as I, you know, love mm-hmm. to be around people, I like my alone time. It is so nature journaling. No, I'm not going to nature. Sacred space. Like go to Nabu Shannon something. <laughs> <laughs> You know, some people use like they have like bonsai and stuff like that. They like tree trimming. You know, and rest of it, I there's a little table out by the water. I go sit on the table by the water. Yeah, and then it that's all right. That's enough nature. I yeah, me, and I had the ducks running around. That's nature. Boom. But me not climb Mountain Island something. I don't do that. Though. The beach. Yeah, we need to do that more. Yeah, that's yeah. that's me. I don't I'm, like sand. So that sense. <laughs> it's always something with me. I know this. <laughs> yeah. So, me personally, yes. definitely a journaling type of person. Mm-hmm. You know, I, I love to keep me a nice little journal, sit there and write out the feelings and things, even if I don't ever I say them. To fit this up again. Listen, just sit there and just write my little heart out and then put it away and, whoo, we good. It, was, it felt good, though, when I picked it up. I was like, yeah. Yeah, yeah especially it. after it's been a minute yeah. and you just start. Now, okay. okay. Page as well. Not them out. Yeah. Listen. Right myself. I was like, oh, shit. Because from... When was it? From I, was, I think the first time I got a journal, I was nine. Yeah. Eight or nine is when I first came here, right? And when I said that poor book, Jesus Christ, I still have it somewhere. I still have I was troubled. some of mine from when I was like 12, 13. I don't know where they are. I was troubled. Very. They're in the state of Florida somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so they made it down with yeah, you. Yeah, they okay. did. Like, I had took them from my old one, my parents' house, and there's a few of them, like, in a composition notebook. Mm-hmm. They Mine had a lock on it. Yeah, I had some. What is Polly Pocky? Listen, no, it had a key, like a real key and <laughs> lock. No, pocket. sir. Real key and lock. Are you, hmm. Okay. It was. Can you, but can you say you practice a little bit of, like, a little bit from each one of them? Let's yeah, see which one. Because it, it's not. That asked for help party. <laughs> um. <laughs> Sleep is definitely a go for me. Yeah, I love to sleep. sleep that- what? Sleep, listen, guys, I don't care what y'all want to call it. Y'all might want to say I'm avoiding things. Sleep cures illness. Um, it cures feelings. Sure it do. Cures- <laughs> sure do. Next. <laughs> it cures hunger. Sure do. <laughs> Yeah, listen, like sleep. <laughs> listen, what? You're tired, go sleep. You're hungry, Everything. go sleep. You're you upset, you want to go to sleep. Out. You, you need feel to... like you're about to do something risky, go sleep. What? Look at one hour nap if you need. I'll go... Sometimes I look at sleep, save your life. Go sleep. Listen, sleep. I love sleep. <laughs> All right. Sleep never do me nothing yet. My point. <laughs> All right. Stretching, you know, I need to. I mean, get I'm back into that. Yeah, I'm mean, going to go one cup, one cup, but I'm mean, not going to know. Yeah, maybe you know. yeah, the extra stretch that maybe we get up and do a little neck crack, yeah. neck crack, kinda. Sometimes you know, get up and stretch and walk off. Sometimes that. you know, yeah. yeah. Um, physical release, boy, y'all. What that mean? I need them to explain physical that release, one. That has to mean, yeah, that yeah. has to mean the release. That yeah. nothing about so if that means busting a nut. Then, yeah, we believe in them. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, we believe in those things. Yes. Um, does that mean apart together? It doesn't say, it just says release. So if you okay. need to have someone assist you, then that's an option. Yeah, and but you it know, could be a part you can as well do it by yourself. You, you can be doing self care and anxiety. Yes, it is self care. It's yeah, yeah, self care. Self oh, love de- and self care. Okay, so self care. So they mean masturbation. Mm-hmm. Next. <laughs> that's what they're talking about. Mm hmm. Healthy food, no. Um, um, yoga, I try sometimes. Healthy food. Well, me and my salad last night. I, Every once in a blue. You know what's funny? Like we're trying to do better. I have grown mm. to tolerate spinach. You couldn't pay me to eat spinach one time. Now, you're not cooking up. What's there food? to eat? After done. you put 50 of them in there, That's what and it there shrivel up a little bit, you pour a little bit more. Hey, girl, if they put the cool, the cool dressing put, pan, that's not just near me. You don't even know the difference, honestly. You put the ranch dressing pan. Nothing. It's like this. Ranch. Nothing. Yeah. It, it, it gone. But I've, I've, you know, it's, it has a little bit of flavor to it. Mm-hmm. And I'm kind of okay with it. Now my mother would have a heart attack because she found out that I mean spinach. But that's another story. But I've been eating my little bit of spinach and I'm not anemic anymore. Okay, barely so, though. Barely. Okay. So I'm like, maybe too. I need that because, listen, I be. Yeah. 
Because I went to, remember I told you I had to go to the doctor and do all my fun stuff or whatever? I need to go. Did my blood work. I need to go. And she was like, oh, you're not anemic anymore. And I was like, huh? How come? (laughs) She said, no, but honestly, because for the first time ever in my life, all my life I've been anemic. So she's like, yeah. And I was like, what's the percentage? She's like, I'm 11.3, but the lowest is 11.1. But I was like, you know, I'm going to take the little two points. I'm going to take the little two points where (laughs) growth you know, something is better than... I was just still sitting there like... She told me everything else was good. That's the only thing. I was just like, I'm not anemic. I know my cholesterol is good. You gotta tell me that. Whatever. But anemia <laughs> is gone. I'm still cold as hell. It don't matter. But... <laughs> <laughs> so, you know. But maybe I need to find something else I can eat. Because spinach, yeah, like you said. Two twos and it's shrivel up on gone. Exactly. So, you know. But... We're next by that self-care. Uh, stress management. Okay. Sleep. <laughs> Emotional maturity. I laugh at everything. I I have a tendency, but sometimes it's nervous laughter. Yes, and I'm just like, yes. What? And then sometimes I laugh because I'm like, you really have the audacity. Yes, as well. And then yeah. yeah. I don't the mean la- to laugh. To the laughter unless means... I'm, unless you piss me off and I'm trying to get on your nerves, then there's that laughter as well. Yes. That don't happen too, too often. <laughs> but I try to tell, you know, I be like, babe, like, forgive me. I'm not laughing at you, per se. It's just a situation. Really yeah. Just... Sometimes the devil just try to, you know, grab you up sometimes. You have exactly. to laugh a little bit. You just say, yo, Jay, I really try me right yeah, now, like, you know? Sure. Just, boy. Yeah. Yeah. Me understand. understand. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And then sometimes it's just... <laughs> Really? <laughs> like that. Exactly. And you don't need to do it on purpose. Yeah. Yo, be killing me. Yeah, so emotional maturity is something that, you know, I... It's a self-expression yeah, thing. I, so it comes out kind of... I mean, you know, kind of away. Look at it. It's not intentional sometimes. You know, forgiveness. Uh, uh, um, this is this my mean? thing. <laughs> like... I don't get upset too often. I'm not the type of person to like let things bother me mm-hmm. in real life. Like, as I've said before, serenity prayer. Mm-hmm. If I can change it, I'll change it. If I can't, mm-hmm. let go and let it happen. God, go. Yes. So I don't really like to harp on things. I don't like to really like get worked up because mm-hmm. stress will kill you. So are you more of a forgive and forget? Forgive, never forget. I'm more of a forgive. We don't have to I talk try to again. It's cool. Thing. Oh yeah, I'm I'm a sucker for that one. Yeah. Listen, this was nice. Um, walk good, but mm-hmm. <laughs> you know what I'm saying. Like, I try to rationalize things. Mm-hmm. Like, try to understand like how we got to this point or why would someone whatever. Mm-hmm. And then it also comes with respect though, because some people try to hell out of you. Be like, yo, what's up? And then it's like, mm. yeah, okay, peace out. This was cool. So, I don't hold grudges. That's what I was going to say. Don't keep my lust, but... I know. just don't fuck with you. <laughs> that... So... That... I mean, what happened? Something happened with me and someone, and, like, I'm cool. Like, I kind of forget the person for what they did, I guess. But I don't really have no... Yeah, we don't I have don't to... to talk to you again. Like, I believe I'm people good. when they show me who they are. That is... Yeah, that's I believe that. people when they show me who they are. Because... In the past, I have tried to see more than what they showed me. Mm-hmm. I don't know why. I get you know, every time. Yeah, yeah. So I have learned with age, emotional maturity. There we go. You know that age you comes know. Wisdom and all these yeah, you yeah. know that people will show you who they are, and it's up to you to believe them. So, which we are gonna there's do. that compassion. Oh boy, um, let me go Google what that means. Listen, <laughs> listen. Um, it's now that I. Okay, I can be kind, right? Mm-hmm. And, That's and the next I can one. be kind and and sweet, and I think loving. I think, but sympathetic at the same, but at the same right? But pity, at the same time, I can miss the compassion part and concern for the sufferings or misfortunes of others. I don't know. I need to work better on expressing that it that you know what I mean because it's not like I don't care. I care, but I'd be like, what am I supposed to do about this? Yeah. That's me. Like, I'm like, um, I hate it. And you be stuck. Yeah, like, be I feel like, bad. oh, like, I hate seeing people cry. I just be like, oh, that sucks. 
I'm so sorry. Do you want a hug? I got to do the things I think I'm supposed to do. And I'm just like, I genuinely care. And I feel bad. And, and for me, I see, like, in my head, it's just like, what am I supposed to do? How do I make this stop? You I, And then um, my dumb ass, I start making jokes. But Right. <laughs> me, I don't really know what to do. And I'm just like, well, I got to get out of this room. I got to get out of this room because I don't know. I don't know what to say and what to do. And then I can't sit here and look at you cry because I think yes. that's wrong, too. So let me get out of this room. Nope. Can't do it. And I need to fix that. I need to. I'll like, put one of them. Maybe I'll, a hug will do it. If you don't know how to say it, maybe something. But that you're like, I'll be, I'll be right back. You, you need anything? I'm like, <laughs> give me a second and I'll be back. My bad. I'll be sitting there trying to figure out, why are they crying? What happened? Okay. Well, you know, all right. Cool. Send a text message. Are you okay? Do you want to talk about it? Right. Right. Yeah. No? Okay. <laughs> Yeah, I'm horrible. That's something I need to... Yeah. Kindness. Kindness. I might be an asshole in real life, but I'm actually really kind. kind. Like, right. I got you. You mm-hmm. good. Um, boundaries. That's for the social portion. Now, boundaries. For the social? Okay. Yes. Boundaries. So, like... Creating boundaries. Respecting boundaries. Things of that nature. So, yes, I definitely do believe in creating, creating boundaries. Creating boundaries. Same. Letting people know... What is okay and what is not okay, and a lot of times, I think people they get comfortable mm-hmm. in certain situations, and even after they've said, "I'm not okay," oh excuse me, mm-hmm. "I'm not okay with this," if someone crosses that line, they'll be like, "Oh, but they didn't mean it in a way." Even if you're uncomfortable, mm-hmm. it's like, "Oh, they didn't mean to," you know. But it's like if I've Express. voiced this to mm-hmm. you, like, "Hey, I'm not okay with this." Hey, I'm not okay with this. Hey, I'm not okay with this. <laughs> I can't keep making the excuse for you. So it's kind of like you have to be firm with your boundaries. Like I saw something the other day about kneecapping or saying this is kind of like, I kind of don't like that. No, bitch. I don't like that. So boundaries, they're yours. Yeah. Set them up. That's mm-hmm. self-care. Because otherwise, you're going to keep feeling away mm-hmm. if you don't set them and actually hold people to them. Mm-hmm. So there's that. Support systems. Yes. Important. Very, very important. I definitely... Um, some yes. Some people don't come up having them, mm-hmm. and they have to kind of build their own mm-hmm. around themselves. If that's what you got to do, then you just got to do it. Listen. I mean, we all wish that everybody had support, strong support systems, mm-hmm. but sometimes it's not that way. But... My thing with support systems, it doesn't even have to be somebody that is physically in your life. It could be online people or whatever. Yeah. Because when I was younger, listen, back in 2003 days, mm-hmm. when I had Live Journal, I had about five. Oh. Yeah. yeah. I had like a little circle of friends. Like even to this day, like we've stayed in contact all these years. That kind of and WordPress days and stuff like that. Oh, man. Yeah. Back then. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And we are still in contact with each other. We still speak because them people know some things. Yes. Yes. It was funny. It was live journal for me back then. And then it was Tumblr a few years ago. And those family. And it's funny because some of those people from live journal were in my Tumblr Tumblr family also. And they're my Twitter foolishness family. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And those people, some of them I've never met before. And I've known them for 15, 16 years. There's a lot of that. We haven't met people. But those are my people. We've been knowing each other for like 11 years. Listen, I know things about (laughs) you that people you live with don't know about you. You know what I'm saying? Like support system. It doesn't necessarily have to To be. be Face to face. Exactly. So even if you find somebody that you click with that you have like good conversation, who understands you, whatever the case is, Mm -hmm. support system. All right. Um, what is it? Positive social media. Yo. Okay. Not me. Um, mm-hmm. Yeah, I think me and Babe honestly was saying like the other day, like we want to probably do a cleanse because Twitter alone sometimes, yo, we go on there and it's just so bad. As far it's as like what? you go on there, people is just, the conversations, it's, there's um, no growth in the conversations. They yeah. talk about the same thing every mm-hmm. freaking week. Who broke it and who? Oh, my Who goodness. Who got money for this? Oh, my goodness. Who want to do this? <laughs> Did you see? The same people being ignorant. People just sneak this in, sub yes. in people, all this bullshit. It's annoying as fuck. People arguing about God knows what. It's like 8 o'clock in the morning. Yes. You feel me? You know, you just wait for You just hop on and scroll real quick. Oh, I'm up. Let me just scroll. In case you missed it, fuckery. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 
Like, I saw, I don't know if you saw, somebody posted something about, you're always talking about this broke stuff. Let's talk about the most expensive gifts. Somebody, I'm like, why would you want to talk about that too? Because like, that's what? All, but you, that's the age we in. It's, <laughs> it's just what it is. And everybody want to flex. Everybody life is popping. Everybody Mm-mm. this. Like, I'm broke. On, nope. I'm poor. As fuck. Mm-mm. Okay, Manana as money. <laughs> as fuck. Not nothing. Rent and just pay. Manana money. That's no. Funny. No, it's, it's ridiculous. <laughs> and sometimes you go on and you just be like, y'all are just... Ignorant as hell. Yep. Just it's log very back out. strange. And I just be like, damn. And then baby like, mm, this is bad. This is tacky. We yeah, a cleanse is surely coming up because I'm about sick of Twitter sometimes. Yeah. In the different groups and all that, yeah. Foolishness. Mm-hmm. Uh communication. Needs work. I think we can all say that we need a little bit of work as far as communication goes. I don't feel like anyone communicates perfectly. Because communication can also be listening. So there's that. So people might be like, oh, yeah, I talk and I tell you. No, no, no. Yeah, but, but you, you know, but then, but then here we go back to Twitter again. You got the people that be on Twitter tweeting all day. Oh, I do this, this, and this. I communicate like this 100%. So just like, really? Do you really? Do you really know how to communicate? Are you sure? These are the same people that don't respect boundaries, that don't do all the other shit, but they know how to communicate. No, you don't. Correct. Because... You can be on Twitter tweeting, 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 tweeting. But you got somebody sitting next to you that's like, babe, we need to talk. Mm -hmm. All right, give me a second. Well, see, I've been needing my seconds because, you know, I need to think. I know, but I'm just someone (laughs) who be bragging about being such wonderful communicators. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so, I mean. A lot of bullshit. Yeah, so I think we all can do a little bit of work on that. Time together time together it just says time together with friends whoever self-care time because okay psychologically speaking Mm -hmm. you need to be social Mm -hmm. so i'm guessing that's what that is just time with people as much as i i like to go out with my friends and have a good time and go to the fets and da 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 i also like to be in my yard. Yes. Not doing nothing. Diddly. Okay, and minding my business. Sitting on a couch, nice and comfortable. And, yeah, to me, you can have the balance of the two. Like, and plus, I come with growth as well. After a while, yes. you reach a certain level. You you tired of being out and all in everybody's business, old time rule. Like, bring your ass home. Yes. And after a while, you grow up, you're like, damn, I'm paying all this rent and I'm just here running amok. Can I spend some time <laughs> in this damn thing that I'm paying for? Listen. You know. Listen. Yes, exactly. Because rent is real especially in florida mm-hmm. it's it's real here so I'm, I'm i'm spending the money to occupy the space spend some storage. time in it spend expensive some time storage. in storage expensive storage no so well, i mean you could always be social in your crib like we was just talking about like the brunch stuff the like oh well yeah people are like stuff. you could be social spend time with people yes boom boom you could always keep it home if you want to it don't always got to be out out like the extent of my social in the homer yeah you know i don't like random energies in my space well not that no that's a that's a dope we'll be having house parties and shit i'd be nervous no sir um what's the next one ask for help Okay, so spiritual. No, I got you. Stop playing. Stop playing. Stop playing. I'm um, asking for help. Is uh, I'm I'm a Leo. I was um, just about to say the pride of the lion. Um, I'm prideful. I mean, I can get to a point where I'm just like, hey, and we Jamaican. Yeah, as you know how that goes, and you get to the point where you just like, yo. I, I mean, if I'm like really, really down, I'll be like, yo, I need help. Mm-hmm. Like. Please, you know I gotta what I'm get to the point where I need help. Like I need, I can't like, want the help to ask for it. I gotta need, need it. Help. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, I'm not yeah. gonna just be like, mm, can you maybe, maybe? I'm be like, yo, listen, listen, I need this. Like a rough out here, you know. Like real quick, please, mm-hmm. my bag. Yeah. So. Yeah, and then I have to be comfortable with the person because I know how people are, and people. I witness a lot of things, and a lot of things people do for you, and them take it tell you, bitch, you're not gonna do that to me. Listen. I will slap you. You're not going to do that to me. You're not. You're not going like, I, let's say, let's let borrow $20. All of a sudden. On Twitter, I lent this bitch $20 three days ago. That stuff. <laughs> bitch, I'll take the same 20 and slap you with it on me. Yeah. That's not even, that's the type of stuff I can't take. Yeah. I'd be like, really? I really sucked up my little 
my pride. And I asked you, and then you just turn around, burn me. I this dirty that. girl just come dash something in my face. What? I will yeah. cuss you out with the $20 still in my pocket, bitch. I and not with care. my box ready to go with the 20 fresh. Like. <laughs> like, yeah. That's my biggest thing. I'm so worried about people throwing things back in my face or being able to say, mm-hmm. oh, I did such and such. Listen, yeah. I, oh. Yeah. So too many reggae songs influencing me. No, y'all can't say it. Yeah, no, yeah, yeah. no, no. <laughs> but I'm a barrage right now. Yes. No. I never mean to it. I feel no one. You exactly. know what I'm saying? So it's and like even outside of that, like you said, a lot of people will lend you something and it'll look like it's out of the goodness of their mm-hmm. heart. And then they turn around and yo, you know, I said the other day she come beg me for mm-hmm. Ray Tay Tay or mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? Or oh, when you when you think you're gonna give it like Mm-mm. 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 No. I was like, look, if you're going to put me both you shouldn't give me. Exactly. You shouldn't have gave it to me. Like my father always says, don't lend what you can't afford to lose. Oh, that, so that. that right there, period. Um, so spiritual. Time alone. Yes, I'm a cancer. I'm a crab. Me and the shell, we are one. Um, you know what's funny about it? You talking about like zodiacs and stuff like Leos? They say like Leos love limelight and to mm-hmm. be in the center. Um, I'm a bit different. I like to be <laughs> off in the cut in my dark corner by myself. However, however, your rising sign is a Cancer. Ah, what? Yeah, all that shit. Yeah. Throw that shit. <laughs> all that stuff. I can never remember what none of that shit means. Stars and all mm-hmm. that moon stuff. Yes. So that's the yeah. Okay, so that's yeah. the introvert. Mm-hmm. Okay, mm-hmm. okay, I got you. I got you. Yeah, so, yeah. <laughs> that's cool. But when you are in the limelight, though, you be like, ah, so. Who, me? Yes. <laughs> yeah, so the limelight oh. thing, it works, but it's based on the situation. Yeah. Um, meditation. Um, I don't, I kind of sit, I, st- I kind of sit still. Mm-hmm. And I don't, you know, put on. Sometimes if I have like <laughs> headphones, I'll put on like some music, some of my little, you know, my little. Um, beyond and, something, yeah, something. my little thing, frequency songs and all this stuff. And like I'll just sit there and I'll just breathe, or my eyes will be closed and I'll just be outside, just like being one, mm-hmm. not saying much, just existing. Yeah, that's just existing. Exactly. I like how that feels a lot, yes. especially when I'm like, you know, I'm kind of fresh. When you fresh, it feel nice. I was gonna say, you know, Jamaicans say all meds. Well, meds. That's that's my vibe. <laughs> Especially when you're fresh, you just oh, you just I look a breeze that blow. You're yeah, just, that feel good. Yeah, yeah. Stand by that. How yo? I just realized yoga is in spiritual and physical, but it makes sense. Yeah, it makes sense. Yoga. Um, yeah. I'm trying to get back into it, but you know. I got a mat somewhere. I ain't gonna lie to you. <laughs> what does it say? <laughs> I ain't connection. Gonna what kind of connection? No. So who? What? A spiritual connection? Because that's a spiritual column, right? It could be. Yes. Spiritual connection. Yes. Um. Well, we all know how my face set up. Mm-hmm. Um. I could go to church more. I need to go to church more. Fact. I kind of like. I mean, not to say like you got to be like a believer or a Christian and have to go to church. It's not that. I don't mind. Fellowship. Fellowshipping, and mm-hmm. I don't mind praise and worship, and I don't mind hearing a good word. I, mm-hmm. It doesn't bother me. Maybe when I was a kid, you know, you don't want to stay in church how long, mm-hmm. yeah. whatever, but as a, you know, as your faith goes, you know, you, whatever. Um, I kind of stay to my own lane with that. Mm-hmm. It's kind of like me and him, and whatever I believe, my faith is not mm-hmm. about what other people think or what other people involve in. Whatever you want to believe in, that's you and him or whoever you believe in. Mm-hmm. So just keep that part of you connected. Yeah, you know, I mean, if you like you said... Buddha, it could be or, that. Or, you know, any of these things. You believe so, in all the other gods and universe yeah. and sun and moon and stars and all of that. Yeah, stay connected to what you have to do. Exactly. Don't condemn nobody else. And that's it. That is the most important part. Yeah. Don't condemn nobody. Just. Listen, I don't care if you believe in a burger, dog. <laughs> like, you have faith in a freaking hamburger. I don't care. Bro. Just don't burger. Make, just, that's where you think that. That's where you find happiness in your, by all means. All right. can't do it for you. Exactly. All right. So. Nature, we already talked about that. Going outside, enjoying what peace and all nature. of that. Journaling, yeah, we backtrack through all of that. Sacred space. Sacred space. Sacred space, just space where you go. Uh, Pillows, sheets, blankets. Sacred space? <laughs> Sacred space? Sleep. 
sacred space though. Does that mean space that's of, dedicated to just you? I mean, it could be that, or it could be since it's a spiritual column, it could be like a prayer corner or something. Some people have shrines, some people have altars, some um, people have yeah, church. I mean, could be many different things. I mean, Confessionals. My self care probably is my little corner where my music stuff is. Mm-hmm. That could be your sacred space. Yeah. Yeah. Because then that just yeah. That's your little corner, your little setup. So mm-hmm. yeah. Yeah. That would be oh my gosh. When I was in college, that was me in the dark room. Oh my god. I think every room that I've had I've had a corner. From you've known me, I've always had some little corner where the music was at. Always. Yeah. yeah. I just so. give me a little section. That's me. But yeah, I think that could be anything for anybody. Yeah. It could be in your car. Yes. Definitely could be. Yeah. yeah space away from everybody or whatever. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But yeah, so types of self-care. I like that. Um, Don't, don't look at me like that. <laughs> it's just bare foolishness after this. Mm-hmm. <laughs> because... um. The next thing on there was, oh, I don't know, shit. the stupid, the raccoon something that we saw. The <laughs> raccoon? For those who haven't seen it, there's a video circulating on the internet of somebody opening their front door and a mob of raccoons at night, mind you. Raccoons? Yes. It's how a whole, you supposed to say the word? Whole heap of raccoon. All of them. Enough. Plentiful abundance. <laughs> a plentiful amount of raccoon. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yeah, it was a lot of them. It was at least 20 of them sitting out in front of this girl's door. And the door was open for way too long, and, in my and opinion. Before you ask, yes, they were. Yes, they were. Yes, they were. Yeah. <laughs> mm-hmm. They were. Because <laughs> I couldn't me. They sure were. No. No, sir. And. The video gave me anxiety because I'm sitting here like, lock the door. <laughs> Y'all, yeah, what y'all doing? <laughs> first sitting jumping at. First of all, imagine if they ran in the house. Huh? No, sir. They, no. I, I feel like they were invited in <laughs> at this point. What your dumb ass doing? Letting them, you opening the door to all these. You don't know. There was a lot of them. About, yeah. And all, you see, like and all you see is the little eyes. Yeah, oh, like they you. lit up and st- mm, 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 mm. And then she went to go pet them, talking about some, oh, they don't bite. And then he, oh, my and God, then he bit, he bit me. Not even 10 <laughs> seconds later. Yo. So my thing is, she's standing there so calm. Oh, he bit me. And I'm like, rabies? Like, just cut off the whole <laughs> hand at this point. What? what? Huh? And it was still recording. I'm still lost. Like, how? And they left the door open. <laughs> like... <laughs> Dog, I don't. First of all, you were saying that they must feed the raccoon. Of course, must. that's because the only way them things follow you like that. Unless y'all are the only house for ten miles, which I highly doubt. Right. All of these raccoons, they just bypass every house and they just come in front of yours. Just so, just no. Kind of my good feeding. I, they might get good treatment. Yeah, and they just sitting out there, just perch waiting. Like, no, sir, no. Fringy. Listen, from I was young, I heard that raccoons have rabies, and that's not something that you want. So you stay away from them. Fact. That crit, that crit, that chub. Who friend that man? That crit. Dog. I'm, it, video. I'm thinking about it like any cartoon or show that you've ever seen with raccoons, like people are running away from them or right. warning you about it. So why are why are mm-hmm. those people like that? <laughs> <laughs> they just you know how they are it's with them everything is an open door policy so that's it they no so <laughs> that had to be in thing yeah um next next line of fuckery um the impeachment we talk about that we're not talk about that anyways um so there's this um flyer going around about this party in jamaica I'm so surprised you didn't see the foolishness on your timeline. But the top place... You see what, what did self-care say? Yeah. <laughs> Positive. <laughs> no. 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 What, what is it anyway? It looked it look very... I want to use the G word. <laughs> but it looked very, very... The part that got me, right? Because I had to go look this up. Because I was like trying to understand what this was. I kept seeing the different fly... <laughs> Come here, pass I kept seeing the different fly like pictures, like these random pictures all over Twitter, and I was like, well, "What I mean. the hell is so, this?" All right. all right, 
what's the this thing? Unleash your yeah. fantasy. Mm-hmm. Yo. Yeah. Unleash yeah. Fantasy. Yo. Well, and uh, open-minded girls all night. Girls that friendly and fun to be around. What about men? Y'all don't want friendly and open-minded no, yeah, men? No, open-minded girls all night. <laughs> VIP area with girls tip and touch. What tip and touch mean? Tip and so touch. So if you tip them, you can't touch them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Guest selector every week. Topless girls rotate. Rotate. Well, mm-hmm. Okay. They are recycling y'all them. So yeah, them some you can't pop up on my something, yeah, man. No, but this I went to look for. The pictures were showing up on my timeline. So this is a man. In yeah. between this girl crutches and uh-huh. people care about. Yeah. Why? This is at the party. Yeah. Which part of this party I keep? Yard. But there were some other pictures I didn't find them Yo, on Instagram. You know, say 2020, look all life gone. Yeah. Uh, my man says say, bury. Yo, people used to burn out Yo, all of these but they things were in the comments. There. <laughs> they were to see it. <laughs> Ask about where am I do? But say, yeah, what you think man I do? <laughs> zoom again. Yeah, my friend, zoom. Oh, I don't play. I zoom in on everything I look at. I need all the details. Yo. What? No, man. The, the, yo. So. Slackness. But, no. Back to this. The thing that got me, right? They want beard, don't look like they want beard. Yeah, they want beard. They look a little shine. The G yeah. word, want to be. Yeah. yeah. That look ghetto. <laughs> <laughs> they, that look ghetto. They want beard. You know, like it. like my mom. They look <laughs> Yeah, me don't like it. Me don't like that. <laughs> me don't like that. Yeah. Yo, you know when my mom dropped ghetto, she go, ghetto. That ghetto. <laughs> <laughs> oh, jeez. Nope. But no, we're finding people on Instagram, right? Mm. That's where the flyer is from. Mm-hmm. And the caption said, at Jamaican Twitter, this is my event, not yours. So Jamaica Twitter, Instagram is posting, that's where these pictures are yeah. from, is posting the pictures and saying, you know, second um, second annual whatever yeah. party, second edition coming, da, 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 and they're promoting it like it's their party. So they might ask it there. Yeah, no, they might say, like say I fit them something. Like, oh, like okay. They might teeth it, they might use fit them on for set up the stage. Okay. And the next one, they might try, you know, hijack right. the people them something. Them. Yeah. But the real people them say, no, I might party this. The, uh, that's that, it don't look good. It don't. It don't look good. Yeah, no. Mm. Yeah, that don't look good. Me don't talk about nobody picking but. They need to come again. That don't look good. Get tall. Yo, they look like freaking boy. Bullet holes and yeah, stab holes. Yeah, they want beer. <laughs> that one beer. Look at that all just dashing at tub with them. Nah. Just go on. No, sir. Yeah, it, it disturbing. Because. Yeah, we're going to find that now. Don't go back there, so. Yeah. It's <laughs> Don't go back there. No, because, you know, they kept doing, like, the bumble clap, and then they have the caption or whatever. Oh, my yes. gosh. still doing that on Twitter? Yes. Mm-hmm. I peep in, and I saw that, and I was like, what the hell is this? And then in the corner, it's on leash. I said, what is this So is this an LGBT-friendly thing? Because... Of course if you, if not. If you are tell me, say... No. Well, look here. It's an unleash Mm-mm. your fantasy. Mm-mm. All of my fantasy them have woman in it. No man in there. Mm-hmm. Well, but no, no. All of my fantasy them have my woman in there. Right? Okay. So, I'm a correct. Correction. <clears throat> Just to be clear. Um, open-minded girls are night. So, what's some of the call open-minded now? Y'all were wanting a crutches. Woman crutches. Something after. No, something after. But you know how. You know how but people we are. Kind of, this is they definitely. Like this is more woman for the, for on the woman. Yes. Bisexual girl. Um. Or the girls that like to entertain for men's entertainment. That. Enough of them do that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. If that yeah. Yeah. It's not. Me can't yeah, look because them, them did it and them so open-minded girls. But the second no. is there's a lesbian or whatever. Yes. It is. It's everything... Get funny, everything mm-hmm. gets spooky. If a that's man can't like, touch you, then it's a problem. Yeah, there's an issue. So, yeah, that's... Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's... Mm. That's what that means. Don't go back on the page. <laughs> Black that. <laughs> Black that. I don't know if anybody went to this that um is going again, because... Anybody will go like that? No, we have some questions for them. Yeah. They love themselves. <laughs> Well, first of all, this is my first time hearing about it, and the party just keep. Mm-hmm. 
Me never hear about it before. I threw the picture them drop while me hear about it. Just just, <laughs> times just changed. This man just in at the crutches. <laughs> Pan the people them care back. Man never bunny out again. What is this? <laughs> Like, see it, but this, this yeah. is not like this. this is rough. <laughs> no, no, look, look, pan this, though. Look, pan. I know that I look, pan, my mama, oh, that's bumpy and still something. I don't like them, something that no, take off that man. Take off that. Take off. <laughs> oh. Oh. oh, my graciousness. No, Mm-mm. sir. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Yeah, that one did rough. The rough bad. Boy. <coughs> it's hot. <laughs> oh, yeah, for more yeah, one done. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Drink it. Mm-hmm. Mm-mm. <laughs> Look a bit more in that fridge. Don't worry, don't worry. Look a more than that. Yeah. <laughs> I was supposed to see up some. Mm-hmm. Look a bit different. I love you. Yeah, qu- <laughs> Look a car <laughs> I love you. <laughs> Drink the nice though. Yeah. Why? Anyways, me not nothing else to talk about. I'm just them shag with them in the lab. Yeah, um, it's hot. Yeah. I just that tell them nothing really happened there last yeah. week. Whether I said nothing. Nothing. Everybody I talk about the halftime show and how them upset but um Hold on, hold on, hold on. I feel ways. About but like all right, so I like Shakira. Yes. You know, Kept don't lie. I like her. Mm-hmm. J-Lo, not so much. What wrong with J-Lo? Ah, she enough. That's it. She enough. I, I'm good. Um, When is the last time any one of them put up a song? Rough. You have a cricket Rough. sound button? Just look at my watch. Yes, so. I said the same thing, right? But I was informed that the Super Bowl doesn't necessarily pick halftime performers based on newly released obviously, music. Obviously. More so based on influence. You got to be kidding. So. Influence. If you want to look. Hold on. If you want to look at J-Lo's history in the industry, she has done a lot. Like but I said, no. just come to Selena. Some couple Selena routine and come off. You are rank. Selena. She honestly could have come do little Selena thing and boop, 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 and come off for that. Oh too, my goodness. Maybe I want, you know, what? What? She was up there doing waiting for tonight and all these things. You kidding yeah, me? Yeah, she really was. No, man. No. Yeah. Shakira. Love Shakira, but no. I Then could I get to Pitbull? Thank you. Mr. Get, 305? They're going to get the pit bull. I don't understand. I don't. I, w- I was telling Babe, I feel like wherever it is, if you happen to, you know, to move it all around, mm-hmm. if you happen to have an artist or somebody that's from there, I feel like they should be the one to yep. perform on their... On their stage in their you hometown. You get what I'm saying? In their hometown or whatever. If you don't have one, then I said, yeah, you know, pick out whoever. Money. But... And one bag of dancing. One bag of dancing up there. Bare leg. I said, and I'm just like... What? Okay, y'all. Some, it was, uh, sure. some people were saying it was inappropriate, well, inappropriate because of the children, no. the, their outfits and the brump shaking and all of this. Uh, y'all kids know way more than that. You better move Ta. around. You move around. There was no backbending or nothing going on. I don't know what y'all around. talking Them about. kids saw that and didn't even blink. Like, exactly. Okay, okay uh, I've been seeing this. This yeah. ain't new. Please. People and, like to look for things to, to be upset. Yeah, about. fake outrage. Yeah. This is this is that is definitely the climate that we're in. Well, you can have but you can have them out there watching the violence of people bashing their heads in together and all these stuff, right? Yes, and getting hurt and all these yeah. things. It's 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 a lot to watch. First of all, kids are like, God damn, like it's what all is the it, same. CTE or whatever it is that it's, they get. It's yeah, all the same. Yes, yeah. and they can get harmed off. I ain't trying to hear that. One. Yep. So, well, there's that. <laughs> I I Nothing that else. One? Yeah, definitely agree with that Simple. because I mean, Mister Three Hundred Five, like That's he, what I'm saying. Like, he was carrying Miami for how long? Listen, he could have walked there and been like, I know you want me. I was like, hey, hey. <laughs> we lit. Boom. For real. Yeah. yeah. But yeah. I mean, 
Some people loved it, though. Uh, they did some political things, you know. They talked about the people in cages in Colombia and all of that. Like, they had representation for that and everything out there. And so J-Lo listen. came up with her Puerto Rican flag, trying As to say, usual. basically. As but usual. We know also, Jenny from the back. Yes. We know her. We know her. But I think she was more so <laughs> doing it because of the whole um, hurricane situation. She was joking. Look, okay. So, I'm cool. I'm cool. Yeah, so at least we know we got her out the way. I ain't got to worry about seeing them again. Okay. <sighs> the years to come. True. Shot block. That's it. Yeah. Cause I don't, pause. Ooh. We were gonna close, but how do you feel about Beyonce, Jay Z, and them and Pitney not, not standing up for the? Y'all gonna feel ways, but fuck that flag. Um, you don't have to. When you ain't got no drink left. I think the whole point of this whole land of the free is that you have the freedom to express or not express yourself. If the girl didn't want to stand up, if her husband didn't want to stand up, if the pit didn't want to stand up. Fact. What's the problem? Like, y'all want to be upset about so many things. Like, I... oh my God, it's Beyonce and Jay-Z and they didn't stand for the flag. I completely agree with you. I would give a damn who okay. sit down, who get up, who put the hand over the heart, who whatever, whatever. I remember being a kid and being like, why the hell am I doing this all by myself? A lot of people see this now. Now they're not going to get up. Because, you know, a lot of these people wait for celebrities to move before they exactly. come Exactly. So now everybody, well, Beyonce didn't get up, so I'm not getting up either with your dumb ass. <laughs> but honestly, yes. Yeah, so oh, well, I got to stand up. Beyonce didn't That's, stand up for Beyonce, this. Beyonce Jay-Z ain't stood up, so I'm not standing up either. Uh-uh. But, Mother didn't stand up to neither mm-hmm. of us. Okay. Yeah. I, and I've read those two. I mean, but also before. the... The American, like, national anthem is not for black people. Like, nothing about it. We weren't free when that shit was written. It don't sound nice. It don't, like, nothing about it is, like... It's nothing you want to stand up and sing. It's nothing. It's not even cheerful. I'm horrible. (laughs) Why I almost started singing Eternal Father again? Like, I don't acknowledge no other national anthem. I'm sorry. Like... I don't know. Yeah, but that's what I was thinking about the Super Bowl. It was cute. But yeah, I didn't even, honestly didn't even I the TV was on, I didn't even see. I think I was washing my hair while that was happening, mm. honestly. So I don't Yeah. Um, didn't watch it. You know, you hop on Twitter, Twitter is dope when it comes to stuff. Oh like yeah, that. shows you, you the see thing up there. What the scores is. Mm-hmm. By by the time you get on there, people talking about this, this mm-hmm. and this. Yeah, nah, I'm good. I heard about it the day after cuz I wasn't really on social media. I washed my hair and that was an ordeal. Still haven't combed it. But um yeah, I've I've never watched American football for my own personal mm-hmm. anything. Like if it's on, I look at it. Okay, cool. Mm-hmm. I don't understand the game. I mean, you hit each other and you throw the ball through the thing and you kick it once or twice. I guess. I don't, I whatever. Do the, the goal. Yeah, they do yeah, the little dance. <laughs> whatever. <laughs> okay. I like I like football. You know, like with the foot. Foot. Yeah, uh, actual yeah. Football. That yes. I'm I'm here for that. For but those of you soccer, football. So for those of you soccer, who yeah, call it football. Everywhere other than America, it's football. So yes. there's that. True. Um, <laughs> yeah, I don't. I guess I didn't know black people were watching the Super Bowl again. This as well. This I saw as well, and I read, and everybody was like, "Oh, I thought we was done with it." And yeah, boycott again. <laughs> yeah, these these people that go wherever the wind blow. Yeah, they can't quit anything because they still wear an H and M. They still, you know, Everything. What I'm saying All it the- don't matter. Listen, that, they don't listen. They good on here. They act fake, outraged one day. The next day they go back to the same thing that they was fake outraged about the other day. So, yep. Like we talked about the other day, they upset black people to get ratings because we're going to push your shit regardless. We're going to get upset. We're going to talk about it. Da, da, da. Other people going to look into it. You're going to fake apologize. And then, you know, oh, my God, we didn't mean to. We didn't know. Whatever. So, I mean, I don't believe y'all when y'all be talking about, oh, we're boycotting. We're banning. We're doing whatever. So, yeah, let me see it, too. But, you know, <laughs> <laughs> I just... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so on that note, <clears throat> mm-hmm. it's been fun. <laughs> but, 
I want to thank you again for, you know, checking us out, coming to hang out, listen to us. <laughs> yeah. If you know, you know. If you don't, you don't. Um, you know, I mean, again, for the... Yo, we really didn't tell you that we're videoing again. Fuck this. Whatever. <laughs> Y'all gonna figure this shit the fuck out. Well, ob- well obviously... No, but the people listening... see this... Oh shit! If y'all the, don't have no visual, hey, yeah, video up there, yeah, YouTube. you know, if you listen to this on uh, <laughs> Spotify or SoundCloud or Apple Music, I have a podcast, whatever the something called. Um, there's a little rum in here. <clears throat> uh, <laughs> podcast addict, Castbox, yes. iHeart, all of them. If you're listening to on a non-visual platform. Mm-hmm. There are visuals. Uh, YouTube. YouTube, YouTube, YouTube. 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 Okay, Jamaicans. Um, yeah, so check us out. You know, subscribe. Leave comments. Keep bad minds feelings to yourselves because we send people up under their mothers. And um, hi, Yeah, hi, Anda. Make sure you follow uh, Pointless Talks, Lion Young D, Twitter, and Dem Sugar underscore on Instagram. You know better than me. You know? <laughs> um, pointless talks. Make sure you put three S's. Listen. Don't forget the three S's, listen, G. The amount of people who will message me and say they can't find they me. They can't on, find it. Three S's. <laughs> but mind you, you know, they messaging me on a platform that has the three S's. No, 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 please believe me. I, I know. I know. I know. So, yeah. It's like they don't realize, hello, that's actually the P. name. Like, I need you to. O-I-N-T-L-E-S-S-S. Talks. Boom. Yes, all of it. Yes. All right? If you have any poetry, yo, you know how long I have some poems that has been sent in that I haven't dropped on the episodes? I didn't forget oh, about y'all. Next week, then Sorry. Drop in yeah, one I might, yeah, might drop in one. And, and, so. Yeah, next week. Next week. We, we are playing better than that. Um, what else? What else? What else? Um, yeah, like, subscribe, all of that fun stuff. And just like every other week, whether you got here on purpose or by fate, thank you again for tuning in to the Pointless Talks podcast.